What is going on guys? Dawn checking in. Welcome to MIT, where we bring nursing to you. So today, we are going to talk about the Parkland formula. First and foremost, we would just like to say thank you, thank you for the love and support for this channel. And if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button because it really does help this channel grow. Are you guys ready? Because we're ready. Let's go. Before we begin, a huge shout out to BenQ for sending over their screen bar plus light. If you want to have a monitor light for your workspace, we highly recommend their screen bar plus light. It provides great lighting without the screen glare. You can adjust the brightness and temperature of the light to your liking. An absolute must for your workspace. We'll be putting the link below, so check them out. Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about the Parkland formula. Now what exactly is the Parkland formula? This formula is specifically used for burn patients because burn patients require massive fluid resuscitation. But before we talk about the actual formula, Let's discuss a concept that we need to be very familiar with, and that is the rule of nine. Now, the rule of nine is pretty much a tool that medical professionals use to estimate the total body surface area of a patient affected by a burn. It's called the rule of nine because, and you're going to see this in a bit, the percentage of the surface area are a product of nine. So let's talk about this. So we have our anterior part of the body and the posterior part of the body, both of which are covered by skin. As you can see, the rule of nine divides the body parts into sections because they will be divided into percentages. So the first part will be the anterior head. This includes the neck as well. This accounts for 4.5%. The same goes with the posterior head and the neck. It also accounts for 4.5%. Next up would be the anterior trunk. This accounts for 18%. And the same applies to the posterior trunk. This also accounts for 18%. Next would be the anterior part of the upper extremities, which account for 4.5% each. And for the posterior part of the upper extremities, that also accounts for 4.5% each. Next would be this area right here, which is the perineal area or the perineum. This accounts for 1%. And finally, the anterior part of the lower extremities, which accounts for 9% each. This also applies to the posterior part of the lower extremities. They also account for 9% each. And as you can see, the numbers are easy to remember because they are all divisible of 9. So if we add up everything, and that is the anterior and posterior part, we should have a total of 100%. So the head, front, and back, that's 4.5 plus 4.5, that is 9%. The trunk, front, and back, so 18 plus 18, that is going to be 36%. The upper extremities, which would be 4.5 each, that's anterior and posterior, that's going to be 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 4.5, that will give us 18%. The perineal area, that is going to be 1%. And finally, the lower extremities, which are 9% each, that will be 36%. If we add them all up, that will give us a total of 100%. Now, I know this may be a little challenging to remember. I mean, look at all these numbers, right? So all I can say is just practice. Get a piece of paper and just draw an anterior and posterior part and just jot down all these numbers. Go do just that. Once you have memorized the rule of nine, come back and we will discuss the Parkland formula. So the Parkland formula, the standard Parkland formula is 4 ml times the total body surface area percentage times the weight in kilogram. If it's in pounds, don't forget to convert that into kilograms. The result will be the total IV fluids that will be given in the next 24 hours. Now, this is only the first part of the formula. You see, the second part of the formula is actually identifying how much we're going to give in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours for that 24-hour period. And for this, we are going to divide the total volume into two. The first half will be running in the first 8 hours, while the next half will be running in the next 16 hours. Again, the Parkland formula. 4 ml times the total body surface area percentage, we will be using the rule of 9 here, times the weight in kilograms, and that will give us a total volume that we will be infusing in the next 24 hours. That's the first part. Second part will be identifying how much IV fluid we'll be giving in the first 8 hours. So that's going to be half of this fluid. 
and the next 16 hours will be half of this fluid. We will be able to understand this clearly once we use it in actual problems. So here is the problem. A 25-year-old male patient has superficial partial thickness burns on the anterior head and neck, front and back of the left arm, front and back of the right arm, posterior trunk, front and back of the left leg, and back of the right leg. If the patient weighs 91 kilograms, how much lactated ringers are we going to give in the next 24 hours? Also, how much IV fluid per hour are you giving in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours? Hours. Usually, it is a good practice in every mathematical problem to know what the problem is asking for and what are the given values. Now, for this problem, it is looking for the total IV fluids that is going to be given in the next 24 hours, and it is also looking for the rate of how much we are giving in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours. This is sometimes asked differently, like how would you set up your IV pump in the next 8 hours, something like that. So you will just really need to understand what the problem is asking for. And for the given values, we have the area of the body parts that are burned, and we are going to be using the rule of 9 for that one. And we have the 91 kilograms kilograms as our weight. So now we can use the Parkland formula to fill in the given values. So first part of the formula will be 4 ml times the surface area percentage but we will leave this blank for now and we will go back to this when we use the rule of 9. Then multiply this with the weights in kilograms. So we have 91 kilogram. Again if this was in pounds don't forget to convert that into kilograms. And now let's go to the body surface area. I am hoping by now you are very familiar with the rule of nine but here is the diagram just in case so we have the anterior head and neck so that's going to be 4.5 percent front and back of the left arm so that is going to be 4.5 percent each right so 4.5 plus 4.5 front and back of the right arm so that is going to be 4.5 and another 4.5 posterior trunk so this is posterior that is going to be 18 percent Front and back of the left leg, so this is the left leg, so front and back, so that's going to be 9% plus 9%, and back of the right leg, so that's going to be 9%. That will give us a total of 67.5%. This is the number that we will be using for the formula. So we're going to do our math. 4 times 67.5 times 91 kilogram, that will give us... 24,570 ml. Now this is the total IV fluids that we will be giving in the next 24 hours. If it's only asking for the total amount of IV fluid in the next 24 hours, you're done. But if it's also asking for the IV rate for the first 8 hours and 16 hours, we will be using the second part of the formula. In this problem, it is actually asking for those. So we will divide this by 2 will give us 12,285 ml. So this is going to be the total amount that we will be giving in the first 8 hours and a total of 12,285 in the next 16 hours. The problem is actually asking how much IV fluid per hour are you giving in the first 8 hours. So by that question, we will simply divide this number by 8. So 12,285 will be given in the next 8 hours, so that's going to be divided by 8 hours. That will give us a rate of 1,536 ml per hour. So for the first 8 hours, 12,285 ml will be given at a rate of 1,536 ml per hour. Make sense? Okay, for the next 16 hours, we will divide 12,285 by... 16 hours that will give us a rate of 768 ml per hour. So for the next 16 hours, 12,285 ml will be given at a rate of 768 ml per hour. And so we are done. In 24 hours, we will be giving a total of 24,570 ml of IV fluids. And in that 24 hours, the first half of the IV fluid will be given in 8 hours at a rate of 1,536 ml per hour. And in the next 16 hours, it will be given at a rate of 768 ml per hour. Hopefully that made sense, and if not, don't worry, let's do another practice problem. A 45-year-old female patient has partial thickness burns on the anterior and posterior head and neck, front of the left arm, front and back of the right arm, anterior and posterior trunk, front of the left leg, and back of the right leg. If the patient weighs 85 kilograms, how much lactated ringers are we going to give in the next 24 hours? 
Also, how much IV fluid per hour are you giving in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours? So for this problem, it is looking for the total IV fluid that we need to give for this patient in the next 24 hours. It is also looking for the rate of how much we are going to give in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours. And for the given values, we have the area of the body parts that are burned and we have 85 kilograms as the patient's weight. So now we can use the formula. First part of the formula starts with 4 ml times, and this is going to be the body surface area percentage, and we're going to leave this blank for now. Then multiply that with the weight in kilogram, which would be 85 kilogram. And now let's go to the body surface area, and here's the diagram again for reference. So we have the anterior and posterior head and neck, so that's going to be 4.5 plus 4.5, front of the left arm. So it's just the front of the left arm, so that's going to be 4.5. Front and back of the right arm, so that's 4.5 each, right? So 4.5 plus 4.5. Anterior and posterior trunk, so that's going to be 18% each, front and back. So 18 plus 18. Front of the left leg, so just the front, so it's just 9%. And back of the right leg, and that's just 9%. That will give us a total of 76.5%. And this is going to be the number we will be using for this part. So 76.5. Let us do the math. 4 ml times 76.5 times 85. That is going to give us a total of 26,010 ml. This is the amount that we will be giving in the next 24 hours. Again, if that's the only thing that the problem is looking for, you're done. But if it's not, if it's looking for how much you're giving in the first 8 hours and the 16 hours, we're going to do the second part of the formula. And for that, we will be dividing that into two, right? So first half will be given in the first 8 hours, second half will be given in the next 16 hours. So 26,010 ml divided by 2, that will give us 13,005 ml. So first 8 hours, that's 13,005 ml. Next 16 hours, that's 13,005 ml. But it's looking for the IV rate. That means how much ml per hour are we giving in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours. So we're going to put that here. So 13,005 divided by 8, that will give us a rate of 1,626 ml per hour. And in the next 16 hours, that's 13,005 divided by 16, that will give us a rate of 813 ml per hour. And we're done. So in the first 24 hours, we are going to be giving a total of 26,010 ml. And in the first 8 hours, will be given 13,005 ml, which will be given in the rate of 1,626 ml per hour. And in the next 16 hours, we're giving a total of 13,005 ml, which will be given at a rate of 813 ml per hour. Let's do another one. A 51-year-old male patient has partial thickness burns on the anterior head and neck, front and back of the right arm, anterior trunk, front of the left leg, and front of the right leg. If the patient weighs 76 kilograms, how much lactated ringers are you going to give in the next 24 hours? Again, how much fluid per hour are you giving in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours? For this problem, it's still looking for how much we're giving for the first 24 hours and it's also asking the IV rate in the first 8 hours and the next 16 hours. So let's use our formula. It starts off with 4 ml times, and again we're leaving that blank for now, for the body surface area, the weight is going to be 76 kilograms. Now here is the diagram. There's partial thickness burn on the anterior head and neck, so that's going to be 4.5%, right? Front and back of the right arm, so that's 4.5 each, so 4.5 plus 4.5. Anterior trunk, so that's 18%. Front of the left leg, so it's just the front, so that's 9%. And front of the right leg, so it's just 9%. That will give us a total of 49.5%. That is the number that we're going to use here. Let's do the math. 4 ml times 49.5 times 76, that will give us a total of 15,048 ml. This is the amount that we will be giving in the first 24 hours. First part of the formula, done. Next part, let's calculate the IV rate. So we're going to divide that into 2. Again, that will give us 7,524 ml. So first 8 hours, 7,524. Next 16 hours, 7,524 ml. But we're looking for the rate. So let's do this here. 
7,524 divided by 8 hours that will give us a rate of 941 ml per hour. For the next 16 hours, that's 7,524 divided by 16 hours that will give us a total of 470 ml per hour. For the first 24 hours, we will be giving a total of 15,048 ml. And for the first 8 hours, that's going to be 7,524 divided by 8. That will give us a rate of 941 ml per hour. And in the next 16 hours, 7,524 will be given at a rate of 470 ml per hour hour and that is the parkland formula that is it for today guys i hope you guys found that video helpful and if you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button because by doing this our videos will go straight to you and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you guys get notified when we upload new videos once again my name is don mint signing out